So Amir Khan has gone from fighting one guy that we have never heard of to going to fight another guy we have never heard of. And it looks like this next guy that we've never heard of is coming up about four or five weight divisions. I don't know what kind of fucking fuckery is happening over here, but we're got to chop this up. You're watching Remstar Says So. So let's get right into this one guys because I'm just a little bit lost for words so I'm going to need you geezers in the fucking comment section to help me out a bit. So Amir Khan has gone from fighting Niraj Goyat, yep never heard of him either, to going on to fight Billy Dib, never heard of him either. Billy Dib, let's have a look at this fucking geezer. Okay Billy Dib is 33 years old, he's had 52 fights, 45 wins five losses and two no contests. Billy Dib fought Tevin Farmer in August of 2018 for the IBF Super Featherweight Championship. He lost that fight. Now, less than a year later, he's now moving up, what is that, three or four weight classes to fight Amir Khan in Jeddah of Saudi Arabia, for the vacant WBC International Welterweight Championship. Now, I don't blame Amir Khan for this one because these Saudi guys are trying to throw all this Arab money at him and it's rumoured that Amir Khan's getting paid like seven or eight million to fight whichever Indian bum that they found this time. Like, Niraj Goyat, they look like this guy. He looks like the geezer who serves me when I go for my local curry house and takes my order when I'm trying to get my masala and all of this and Billy Dib um, I, I don't even know who this geezer is like this is just taking the piss now I understand Amir Khan just got his ass handed to him and he just quit against Terence Crawford when he went to America to challenge for the WBO Waterweight Championship but this fight is not gonna help you get back up to the levels if you want to be a serious contender again. Amir Khan, like, I just don't understand this guy. He's been ducking the Kell Brook fight for years and I gave him a pass when he went to fight Terence Crawford because, you know, I, I can't hold it against the man to go and challenge for a world championship. But who in God's green earth is Billy Dib? Like, I'm going to have to keep it out buck 50, 100 and call this right down the middle. This is an exhibition fight. Now, I know, like, BoxRec has got this down as a regular fight for 12 rounds for a BS vacant interim silver championship or whatever it is, but I just don't get it. Like, I'm looking at this Billy Dib guy now. Like, he looks like... He looks like an extra from Slumdog Millionaire. Now, if i got any, like, Asian fans or followers or subscribers, I'm not even trying to seem racist here, but, like... Like this guy, he looks like he looks like a Bollywood movie star. Like he doesn't look like a boxer. I don't know who this geezer is, and like I'm sick to death of having to go and watch high-profile fighters fight absolute trash um, all the time. Now we've just seen Tyson Fury fight the sixth best heavyweight in Germany, and now we've got to go and watch Amir King Kong Khan or whatever his name is fight Billy Dib. The only good thing about this fight is that I've heard it's going to be on Channel 5. I don't know if that's going to be correct or not, but Amir Khan is fighting Billy Dib. Amir Khan, what you should have done, mate, is you should have gone, after you got your ass handed to you, you should have gone and taken the Kill Brook fight straight away. Or what you should have done is you should have got a British level welterweight and had a warm-up fight, got all the cobwebs out, and then fought Kill Brook. Billy Dib for the WBC vacant international title. It's not doing nothing for your career. But I get it now. Amir Khan, he understands he's got a glass chin. Amir Khan understands he's never going to be a world champion again. So if a bunch of Saudi princes are going to offer you 8 million to fight some random Asian guy from a corner shop, 
you've got to go and knock him out. Like, do you know what I mean? Let Amir Khan get a little bit of praise. Let Amir Khan go and pick up some little pointless title. Similar to what Kell Brook did when he went up to 154, pretending that he wanted smoke with everybody else. But this is just stupid now. Like, I just don't get it. You've just gone from fighting Terence Crawford on a double pay-per-view, UK and USA pay-per-view, to now you're fighting Billy Dibb in Saudi Arabia, almost rumoured to be Channel 5. Like, are you a serious boxer or are you just in it for the peas now? Because I would respect you more if you just said, look, I'm shit, I'm washed, I'm past it. All I'm trying to do now is just cement my family's financial wealth. And I'd be like, all right, then cool, go and fight as many Indians in Saudi Arabia as you want to. But don't keep stringing us along about this Kell Brook fight and this and that because, you know, you could have been doing this. You could have been warring. Why are you fighting a man and making a man come up three or four weight classes just for you to spark him out in a couple of rounds? We've already seen Amir Khan do this. When he first signed to Matchroom and he was fighting some bum on God knows what Sky Sports and then Kell Brook stormed the ring and the two of them had a face-off and we all got gassed thinking, finally, this is going to happen. And what Amir Khan did was he gave the middle finger to Eddie Hearn and then he gave the middle finger to Kell Brook and then he gave the middle finger to all of us, the fight fans. Because what did he do? He went over to America to fight Kell, to go and fight Terence Crawford. And do you know what he also done? He done the absolute fuck you because he knew us, the hardcore boxing fans, we were going to get up out of our beds at four o'clock to watch him get ironed out and listen to his excuses, saying that Crawford punched him in his dick. That never happened. He quit, he took a knee, he took the peas, and he came back to the UK. Now what is he doing? He's giving us the middle finger again, and he's fighting some random corner shop guy, and he's going to spark him out in two rounds, and then he's going to start talking about how he's back. Let's be honest right now. Let's keep it 100. Out of the five welterweight champions, Pacquiao, Porter, Spence, Crawford and Keith Furman. Amir Khan can't beat none of them. Sorry, guys. I had to just think about who were the main champions there. <laughs> but yeah, Amir can't, he can't beat none of them. Should he go back down to 140? Nah. I've seen Adrian Bronis going down there. And in one of my videos a couple of months ago, I did say that Khan and Bronis should fight each other and the loser should quit. So maybe he should drain back down to 140 and fight Adrian Broner, if he can make 140, let him go down there. But yeah, I'm just done with this Khan you. I just think he's a fucking dickhead. Like, let me know your thoughts. Sorry. Anyway, this is my rent over. That's the end of the show because Remstar says so.